All right, these next few steps here could be done in in, in different order, but uh, you know we can uh, we're going to um, go and turn off some elements within the linked file, and then we're going to create a view template of that and apply that to our other elevations. Okay, then we're going to make some floor plan views and do the same type of thing: create a view template and apply it to the other plans. So. Uh, to start with in here, we've got our grids and levels. We've got the architect's grids and levels. So what I'm going to do in here is type in VV on the keyboard or go into my view and my visibility graphic overrides. Okay. Inside of here, I don't want to turn off grid lines because if I just turn off grid lines here, it's going to turn off the grid lines. Um, oh, grids are an annotation. You know, if I turn grids off here, it's going to turn them off everywhere. Okay, that's not what I want. Okay, let's undo that. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go VV on the keyboard, visibility graphics. I'm going to go into Revit link specifically, graphics by host view. I'm going to take that off. What I'm going to do is say, no, I want to customize that. And I'm going to customize the annotation by going in here and saying customize. Now I can click in here and type G for grids and levels and hit OK. So now this linked file has grids and levels turned off from annotation. Hit apply, hit OK, and we won't see any more doubles. And we're also going to zoom in here. Okay, those are our grids and levels. Okay, if I want to change this, I can click on here and it says, oh, it's a plenum type. I can say, okay, make that, you know, an eight millimeter so I can change that type after the fact. Okay, plenum one has that. So uh, there's my levels because these levels are going to be required to make floor plans. Now, remember that original uh, level that I had on there. Um, which was this level one. I'm going to pick on this level one, which is this guy here. I'm going to delete it. Boom. Okay, now I don't have any floor plans because my only floor plan just disappeared with that level, but I have my own new levels. I'm going to make some new floor plans with that. Okay, we'll talk about that later. So it, at this point, we've got our grids and our levels specific for this elevation view. Now I'm going to make a view template of that. I'm going to go under View, View Template, create a template from this view, and I'm going to call it DG Electrical Elevation. Hit OK. And it's going to gobble up all the properties in here, okay, and inside of here and all the link stuff that I did and that I saved in here, and I'm going to say, okay, good, there's my new Elevation View Template. Now I can actually click on these guys and say, oh, by the way, you guys are going to use a view template here of this guy. Adopt all those properties. It's going to fix them all. Click out. Now, if I go to my south elevation, open it up. Okay. Okay. It's going to have my levels and my grids, but it's not going to have the architect's levels or grids or any of the other properties. Okay, so what we've done here is we have uh, did a visibility graphics override, turned off the grids and levels of the linked file only, made a view template, and then applied that view template to my other views. So now I can control all of that by going in here and just modifying this, and then this will get propagated out. All these settings are now controlling all of these views. So view templates, very powerful.